What's up, guys? Lucas PhD here, and we are back after a long break. Uh, I think about eight months since I've been to YouTube. Uh, I've decided to kind of get back into it. Things have slowed down a bit, and I'm a little more able to do it. I've got more time to do it. I've got a little more drive to do it. I've got the new rig that I've had for a while uh, that can do a lot more games at a lot better graphics. I can get higher quality, more frames, and all that jazz. So. We're gonna do that. Long story short, uh, this is some post commentary. Uh, I tried doing current commentary, but it didn't didn't turn out well. Uh, here I'm just showing off Crystal's ability, this nuclear throne. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I would recommend watching uh, the Northern Lion, uh, one of, another YouTuber, play it, and he's pretty good at it, uh, to my knowledge. He is a lot more versed in what everything it does but i'm just playing crystal and it's just kind of a i'm back sort of thing and i'm gonna kind of go over some stuff that will be happening with the channel later on down the line to start with i have lost my here i'm trying to pick an ability i lost my dark souls one save so that will be discontinued i'm gonna leave it up there just to show that you did the build i go with so i'm thinking maybe later down the line i'll pick up a new one or not I'm not sure. We'll see. But I'm thinking about doing that. And it could be, it could be bad. Sorry, I had to turn off the audio because it was a little loud. So we're gonna see how that works. Earthbound, I do have the save still, so I can continue and pick up off that. Uh, which I most likely will continue and finish that. The only death I will not be finishing, I've lost the save for that as well. Uh, from switching to the new rig. And so we could quit off of that because it kind of gets more of the same repeating, you know. So we're going to quit with that. And that's about it, to be honest with the bringing you up to speed on what's going to happen. We're going to try and upload at least try twice a week to start with an Earthbound and then something. Uh, be it Nuclear Throne, Binding of Isaac, I may throw it in. Uh, random things like I may do a run of Spelunky, I may do a run of Great Legacy, uh, or maybe a random FPS I have, be Battlefield, Counter Strike, a little bit of that, uh, Plants vs. Zombie Garden Warfare. Uh, I got that for Humble Indie Bundle, which is a great site. Uh, you get stuff really cheap and you get a lot of great games. It does go towards a good cause, so I donated about. 20-ish for it, which still the games are worth more than $20. So you can go on a donate. It was like $4.94 to get all the games. But I felt I felt personally I feel bad doing that. Because you know, they do need something to cover the costs to get it. Also, I spam weapons like nobody's business. As you can see right here, I'm just flailing the gun. Um, I make bad choices, pick bad weapons. I'm still getting used to the game. At this point, I've only got 79 minutes, so about an hour, 19 minutes on the game. I've seen a bit of it, so I understand the premise. I didn't Google how to use abilities, because I didn't even know how to, like, use your right click. I, I didn't even know how to switch weapons for the first entire playthrough. I didn't figure it out until I Googled it. But these are some of the better runs I had. At this point, I am going to learn some hard facts about the game. And at this point, I sort of figure out some explosions, fire, everything's happening, shooting things. And at this point, I see that guy, I miss, I'm like, oh, I'll shield the fire won't kill me. And it kills me. So I'm just letting, uh, I really like the Rogue, I like the design of Rogue. I think it's really good design. But I decided to go with Rebel, who can make clones of himself at the cost of his HP. And so what I do is spawn, and then I got like three chests, so I'm not sure if like HP drops are can like tied with how much HP you have, so if you have less HP, you're more likely to get HP. But as you can see, the dudes will bleed and then explode in a ray of bullets. And so that's kind of how that works. It's pretty exciting. And later on down the road, uh, I'm playing, 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 and I don't know what happened, 
Okay, so we can explain our new scene a bit. And it's about times. Damn. What is this time stamp? About 7 minutes and 50 seconds in. I'm trying to grenade around to get the grab thing to explode. And everything goes weird. It goes blue and I'm like, oh, it must have been a texture glitch. So I'm picking up her. And it goes into like this weird colored sewer. I'm like, what is going on? So I shoot and I get max health from the thing. And then I go down, and then there's turtles. And they just wrecked my face. And I'm like, what is going on? Going on? I'm terrified at this point. Because they're just flying around. And the turtles are wailing on it. Do not have to go on So, if anyone knows what that is, knows the comment, go ahead. But in the end, it's the farthest I get. What ends up killing me is I spam ammo. So I make it to uh, the, the boss of the junkyardy area, where it's like a three-headed dog thing. And, uh, so I click, 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 and I run out of ammo. I run completely out of ammo. And at that point, I think I touch an enemy or bullets hit me. Oh, a dude snuck around me and didn't realize it, and I died. So at, that is the point where I die. So. Uh, ooh, spoiler alert, whatever you want to call it, I do die. So, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys uh, in the next episode, which will probably be Earthbound. So, see ya.